Alexa, turn the lights off. Okay. Thank you, love. Alexa, thank you. Be back. Alexa, you're the best. Thanks. I'm glad I could help. We're going to go look at a boat. <laughs> Holy moly! The wind is... The wind is crazy right now. It's windy, it's rainy, it's cold outside, and I'm going to look at a boat. Just in, I mean, just in case, guys. Just in case, I'm not buying a boat today, it's just... What if I, what if I, what if I do? Be cool if I just take a couple of pictures of it? Is that okay? Hey guys, I'm pretending to take pictures of this boat, but I'm actually taking video to show you. What I was just looking at. Let me jump back in the car. Oh, darn it. Okay, so this boat right in front of me is much bigger than it looked in the pictures. Is my vehicle starting? Is much bigger than it looks in the pictures. And I got really excited because the engine is either blowing, well, it's, I mean, the guy's selling it, it's a heavy duty mechanic. And so the, the engine's definitely blowing. But just for the body alone, he had it for sale for 1400 bucks. And that, in my opinion right now, is a really good deal. Let me show you some cool boats. Look at these massive yachts. This is awesome. Wow, look at that. Look at this one. What? Never been in here before. I've been to this cove before, but I've never been into the, the uh, mechanical side of it. Looks like some fiberglass over there. So basically the body of that boat for $1,400. And I, I personally think that's a good deal. I mean, they got crappy little boats with crappy little engines right now for a couple thousand bucks. So 1,400 bucks for just the body. And then what you could do is to keep the costs way down is put like a little a little kicker on the back, that's it. Just don't even worry about the engine. Put a little kicker on the back and use it almost like a trolling boat. But of course, that my van could not haul that. I mean, I can get close to 3,500 pounds. That boat was, was well over 3,500 pounds. Also in my van, third gear is starting to slip in and out of third gear. So I think this van's transmission is close to being toast. But if I did have a truck, I think I would have just bought that boat for 1400 bucks. But Taylor, we, we just, you just had a boat. You've had three boats plus a jet ski. What are you doing looking for another boat? And did you sell the last boat? I will explain. So very, very long story short, yes, I did sell my boat. Um, I sold it for a little bit more than I paid for it, which is a big win. But just because I sold the old boat does not mean that I don't want to have a boat in my life. I love boats and I love fishing and I love being on the water. It's just, I'm slowly figuring out the perfect boat for me and this channel. And that other boat wasn't it. It was a great boat, but it didn't work. However, it taught me a lot about what I want moving forward. So I am still in the market for boats and eventually, whether it's this summer or next summer or next winter or this winter, whenever, um, I, I will definitely have a boat in my life in the future, that's for sure. So we are gonna make some food. I'm starving right now. We are gonna grab 
that one. I've got to take my Christmas decorations down. As you saw before, I evened it out so that the steak is 200 grams. If you come over here, I just typed in steak, 200 grams, 542 calories. I evened the cheese out to 100 grams, and if you look at the back, about 240 calories for 100 grams, plus the vodka. So this whole meal is 880, technically two, but whatever, we'll just even it out, 882. Um, which is a lot for a meal. A meal should be about four or 500 calories and then you can have four of them a day. But because I didn't eat that much this morning, I'm allowed to splurge a little bit for dinner. Um, this morning I had an Egg McMuffin, which is 350. And then I also, when I got home, I had some chicken with cheese, which is about 300. So right now, as we sit, I'm at 1530. So after this, I'm going to go for a workout and then I'll probably have like a little treat at night. Maybe I'll walk across the street and get a donut, which will put me up to around 2000 calories. Anywhere between 2000 to 2300 calories for me is I'm losing weight as long as I get my workouts in and I burn the same amount of calories roughly every day. If I burn more calories during the day, then I can eat more. If I burn less, then I can, I have to eat less. And you can kind of feel at the end of the day, if you're, you know, satisfied, hungry, or way too full and you can kind of judge it by that but like I said before this is the only thing that's ever worked for me is counting calories most people eat the same kind of food all the time so the, the more and more you do this the more and more you're gonna look at that meal and go yeah that's about 800 roughly um, and so you don't have to weigh everything out constantly so I think we're on we if you're following along we're on day four and I just realized I didn't put any ice in this. I gotta put some ice in that. Oh, um, I haven't worked out yet, but I'm gonna go and do a park workout later tonight. It is freezing outside. It is raining. It is cold. But I have really flipped a switch with this uh, weight loss journey, and I'm just not. I'm not taking days off. I'm not taking days off unless I get sick. Um, but what I was gonna say is, some days are easier than others, as we all know. Today is gonna be super easy. I can just feel it. Like I don't really crave sugar. But last night, I had to go for a walk around the block just to ease the cravings. So it gets easier and easier as you eat healthier and healthier, but some, some nights it's tough, man. And that's what, why tracking calories is so nice, is because even if you like mess up and eat a dessert, then that just means you can't eat anything more. Or if you go over your calories, then you gotta triple up on the workout. You gotta go run for like five miles. So it's, it, you can erase the mistakes you've made, which I really like with the counting calories. Let's go fire up the barbecue. Put it on here. Come over here, put a little Netflix on. Look at that, I can almost watch TV from outside. cold outside. I just finished my movie. I just ate supper. I'm tired. I don't want to go for a workout. I want to eat dessert. But I'm not going to eat dessert. And I am going to go for a workout. Because I made a promise to myself. And I'm tired of starting over. And the best way to stop starting over is to not stop. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a motivational speaker. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to bring my cell phone because I don't want to get this camera wet. And I think that it's raining outside. And uh, I'll show you what I do 
if uh, if I don't get up to uh, going for a hike earlier in the day. This is the hardest part right here. So there's a there's a park really close to where I live, and if I can't go for my enjoyable hike out in the wilderness now what I do is I just run to the park and the way the park is set up I can do pull-ups push-ups bicep curls and well that's about it but uh, oh and I can do squats and lunges on my way there but it's nice because I don't have an excuse not to go the hot shower when I get back is gonna feel so good. You know what guys, I forgot to give an extra of the last video. And so I'm back at the park again. This is the next night and uh, Victoria got snow. It's nice, it's something different. We don't have snow that much, um, very rarely. Anyways, I'm gonna finish off doing some lunges and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep living that dream. Take care. Thank you.